Hey YouTube, how in the fuck are you guys doing today? So today we're gonna figure out if you can weld titanium at your house. Um, if you guys are pretty good welders, don't feel like intimidated by trying to weld titanium because um, there's some stuff you can do at your house to make it a little bit easier. We're gonna see uh, if I can do this. This is my first time welding titanium in about, I don't know, six, seven, maybe eight years. It's been a while, probably since 2014, um, I've welded some titanium and then I thought, well, fuck, I, I got an idea what to do here. But this is, uh, can you weld titanium at home? Question mark, I don't know, let's find out. But anyway, what this is, this is titanium steering stem um, for uh, the gas gas over there. And what we had to do is this thing was entirely too long. Um, we cut it down about an inch and a half um, there. And how we did that is I sent it to uh, my buddy DJ that owns Rocket Machine. Um, and he put it in his lathe because I don't have one. And he took his parting tool in there and he cut the weld out. And then they pulled this out because I thought this was sleeved, which I was correct. So this morning I spent all kind of time trying to get this level. And I think I got it pretty fucking good. You know, we're going to double check. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to level this, you know, like, it's just like, cause like, it's not level to that, but this is the same level. So it's like, you're kind of trying to eye this up with this. See, this looks straight here. It's like, it's, it's extremely difficult. Let's see what they got now. See if I rotate it just a little bit. All right, that's definitely off there. It's like there's nothing you can put in to to level off this. You gotta kind of do it by eye, you know. And I would do it off the floor, but that's fucked up. Okay. See, that's that's too far turned. Like right there, right there looks pretty fucking close. No. Nope. All right. Right there looks pretty close. Let's see what we got. Way off. Let's see. All right. So it's just, this has been the hardest thing to try to do. See, then it just rotates the whole shaft. And that's down. Let's fucking get this back to where we feel like it is. It's way off. Let's rotate it this way. Oh. Because once we stick this in there, we're done. That looks, let's see if that looks, that looks pretty good there, okay? So I'm okay with it right there. Alright, let's just get a, let's get a kind of a, you two, let's just get a tack on this. Okay, now, what I'm using is a water-cooled TIG torch, okay? Um, what I did is, I found the biggest cup that I could find, okay? And what I got is a gas lens, and I'm using uh, three-six, or I'm using sixteenths tungsten, okay? 
Alrighty, so what we want to do is get up here. We're just going to put a tack on this just to just to appease ourselves. We're going to get that water off there. We need just a little bit more temperature. But there's our tack. Now I'm running up. I'm running the pulse on here. Okay. And uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can try this again. Now what you want to do is make sure you just got plenty of gas coverage all over this thing. All right, and you know if you're doing it right is if it looks shiny. Okay, so let's uh, let's go like this and uh, see what we got because I got to try to freehand this off the off the deck without getting it so hot. Oop, pulled that away too fast. God damn it. All right, we're not doing too bad here. Problem is, you're just gonna keep walking it around. You know. What we're going to do is just get a lot of gas coverage on this. See that? Yee! See, we're looking pretty good here. You know, I mean, it's not the, you know, this is not going to be the, the most exciting fucking thing here. Now the biggest thing is what I did is I cleaned this with uh, denatured alcohol, kind of like the same stuff you get at the uh, doctors. You know, it's like that ipropyl alcohol, 99%. Come on, pull that bull right into that heat. Using a lot of, I got the post flow turned up and I also, I am running, um, what do you call that? I'm running the, uh, I'm running the gas more than what you normally would.
little section here. Oh yeah. Cool that off. Hi right there, YouTube. Looks like we can weld titanium at our house. Think about that. We'll let this cool off a minute and then we'll take some Scotch Brite and kind of Scotch Brite this up a little bit. Hi right there, YouTube. Uh, it's not my best work because I kind of had shaky freehand, but um, that's actually not that bad for welding titanium at home. Um, what I did is I turned on my pulses. I probably had that a little bucked up, and I was running about 75 amps. So that's what I was running there, uh, just on a, this is a regular Lift Arc Millermatic, you know, 255, um, that thing. But as you can tell, you know, then this, um oh boy you gotta try to we gotta do a bunch of work on this but this slides down in there and then you can see that this is going to be um a lot lower so that's our agenda for today is to fix that I don't you don't really need to see that but you know what I'm saying it's somewhat fixed all right all righty but uh, that's welding titanium at home so just remember um, your boy has got skills a lot of different talents I can do pretty much anything but uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, I'm sure I'm going to get beat up in the comments. You don't know what you're doing. That is, you need to have that in a chamber and back purge it with argon and whatnot, you fucking moron. I can hear the weekend fucking warriors that don't weld anything all day. They just read it in a book. Um, but it is what it is, fellas. But uh, like always, check out Instagram, Facebook, all the fucking bullshit. And uh, like always, thanks for watching. And uh, I got to fucking go because Big Daddy's got skills to work on. So see you guys later.